So today is the 9th of November 2016 and it marks our first ever um, Greater Manchester Primary Science Conference delivered by the Science and Engineering Education Research and Innovation Hub. The University has been really keen to put this on as a way of engaging not just primary science teachers across Greater Manchester but also academics and students from the University so that they can start appreciating what it means to be a primary science and the lifelong learning journey that a scientist can go on from primary school all the way through to HE. It's important to get pupils and students engaged and wondering about science and excited about the possibilities of the future. Um, I'd like to support the Siri Hub in future by offering more CPD um, with the networks and the clusters which is going to be ongoing throughout the academic year and being further involved in opportunities like this because um, these opportunities are just so valuable for teachers and for professionals to be mixing together. So the theme of today's conference is www. Wow to wonder to working scientifically. The dot, well that's an interesting one. That's how SERI has designed its professional development strategy for teachers. We've got various stages which they can go through from participating with us, collaborating with us, co-creating with us or connecting with us. Well, this is our robo drummer and we worked we worked on him in our STEM club at school. As a direct result um, of the robot orchestra and the Tinker Tailor robot pie that we've been working with in connection with Manchester University, kind of 60% of, of, of the clubs are made up of girls, so it's been really, really successful in, in promoting engineering and science to, to girls in our school. It's inspired me to do like more engineering in school. And all of our fantastic speakers are taking our teachers on that journey from wow to wonder. So they're engaging them in a wow, letting them feel that moment where you just catch your breath and just start to go, cool, that's amazing. As an academic collaborator from Bad Spa, um, leading the TAPS project, but then we, we, we come and want to talk to all the people in Manchester who are utilising the resources. Uh, for us, taking back in our own practice to the, the primary school is going to be the, the talk for learning. It's the small group work. We've just seen some examples there in one of the sessions of how effective that can be when you know, the ideal group of three or four are being able to discuss ideas, work through their evidence and back up any sort of answers they've got with, with evidence from what they've discovered during the lesson. Looking at all the wow experiences that you can give the children and how that creates the wonder and how that wonder then is taken to scientific inquiry. We think this is really important because children need to be able to give evidence for their ideas and they need to have time to think about why a wrong idea is wrong as much as why a right idea might be right and this links directly with how scientists work in the real world. They think, you know, they wonder about something and then they work out what they can do and what questions they need to ask. We're hoping to do um, some staff training and we're going to come together and, and see what we do and where to go next and which will be the best, best options for our school, so that was really, really useful. There were lots of tips, um, the website looks fantastic, so lots of things to take back. I think it's very interesting to see how very simple things and very cheap pieces of equipment can be used effectively to illustrate some of the, the uh, scientific uh, principles that are being demonstrated. It, it works really well for primary kids. We need to capacity build so that we take enthusiastic primary teachers who are hearing the message, getting the message, and we train and nurture them to coach others. So what we hope as a real outcome for today is that teachers take away the ethos of www. They start having some science wows in their classroom. They ask questions and wonder about those, qu those questions in the classroom. And they start to improve the way that they approach working scientifically within the national curriculum in their classrooms. We'd like to say a big thank you to all the teachers that came to the conference today. Um, and particularly thank the Museum of Science and Industry, our fantastic speakers, Bryony Turf, 
Shepherd, Delia Vasquez, um, Lee Hoth, Sarah Earl, Ali Ellie and Tina Whitaker. We'd also like to thank the members of Manchester University staff who made today happen and we look forward to running this as a yearly event and invite new partners to get involved to share their wows, wonderings and how they work scientifically across Greater Manchester.